Take four. Oh my gosh, this is taking me four times. So this is the Cable State Bridges of the South. Um, I'm not going to talk about anything else but this. So the Arthur Raffinell Jr. Bridge. Pause this if you want to read this. I'm not reading all of this. I just typed this in. So the first bridge was built in 1929. It had 6% grade, so it was called the first roller coaster bridge. Oh. The vertical clearance was 150 feet, which was getting dangerously low. At the time that the 1990s came in both bridges, we're showing effects of age and weather and increased traffic. I don't really know why, because one thing it's a port, obviously. So, yeah, so three or four Charleston sports, it really didn't see that much ship traffic because they couldn't get under those two bridges. So, now we have this bridge, 575 feet tall, length is 13,100 feet, 1,586 feet. For the main span, the longest in the Western Hemisphere. Road clearance is 186 feet. Not worthy facts. That was that was that is what NF NWF stands for. Sorry. Okay. Well, the bridge can see it was seeing 300 mile per hour winds and a 7.4 magnitude earthquake. It carries eight lanes of US 17. The next two bridges carry US 17. So I'm not going to say that. The next two bridges. And it was featured on Extreme Engineering. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. So the original bridge was built in 1953. As you can see from there, it's a truss bridge. Kind of like Matthews Bridge. If you want to hear that bridge, so I'm going to try to have that. I sing at the top. I don't know how to do it yet. Maybe Isabel can help me. I don't know. The vertical clearance was 150 feet. This posed a dangerous threat for the bridge. As, as I, I'm glad this not happened. As a ship could have hit the bridge and could cause and could have caused danger to the cars crossing the bridge vehicles. So the new bridge was built in 1990. Uh, the vertical clearance was 185 feet, 1.9 miles long, 1,100 foot main span, and the original support still stand today, as you can see, right about that weird looking thing that looks like spraying the bridge. I'm not sure what that thing is. So the bridge was named after Eugene Talmadge, which was a 20th century governor who was accused of being a dictator. If you look at the bridge on Wikipedia, you or look at the bridge online, you'll see what I mean. And the bridge is also becoming too low for the new, um, more very modern container ships that can hold up to 20,000 containers that are more than 200 feet high. So, no, the bridge is not being replaced now. Um, when I read something, it said, it said, I said it was in the, uh, I said in the next decade, so I don't know.
Now we come to a bridge I haven't crossed for the first two I have crossed. This one I've seen. Which I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna explain that because it's gonna be too long. This video is already getting five minutes, so I'm gonna hurry up. Okay, so the bridge was built in 2003, 1996 to 2003. Why did it take that long? I don't know. Vertical clearance is 185 feet, seems to damage bridge. I think it's 13,779 feet for the length. One of two heart sea bridges in the U.S. And it replaced a lit bridge that was subjected to numerous ship impacts throughout its life, which were 1972 and 1987. I'm guessing this is from the 1972 crash, because I, I don't really know. I can't really read the, the bigger words. Well, this... One of the two it killed five people, and the ship took out a lot of the bridge. I only took out that part. I'm surprised it didn't take out the part where the ship was supposed to go through. And I can't read all of this. This is kind of super tiny. I don't know. Davis Point Bridge. Oh, sorry. There's a name. This bridge didn't replace any bridge, it was built by itself. Built in 1989. The height wasn't given, I'm guessing it was 400 something. 1300 foot main span, 10,646 feet long. Vertical clearance is 175 feet, and it carries six slings of the I 295 beltway. And I have crosses, see, see my other videos for that. Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, this is my favorite bridge of all the eight. So I'm not, I explained this very good in the video about the disaster. Uh, check that out. 21,859 feet long. Not the longest bridge in the U.S., it is one of, I think it's like the tenth longest at four miles, 4.1 miles. 180 feet of vertical clearance, 1200 foot main span, and replaced Z minus a Jensen with disaster video, and four lanes at my 275. Now we're going to Alabama. Uh, Conquering the Africa Town USA Bridge. This is named after a person, I think a man, and that's named after a town in Mobile, Alabama. So, the new bridge, so this bridge was built in 1991, 7,291 feet long, and it's the, I think it's, it's so tiny, it's so cute, because it has a 781 foot main span, and replace a vertical lid bridge from I'm guessing the 1920s. I, I don't really know. And carries four lanes of US 90 and US 98 truck. As the US 98 goes through a tunnel in downtown Mobile, which is um, too low for trucks. I'm talking about uh, uh, not like pickup trucks, like the maker trucks. Now we go to right next door to the Hellbox Memorial Bridge, built in 1993. The third cable stay bridge in the U.S. at the time. 10,200 feet long. Height is 400 feet. The vertical clearance is 158 feet. Which is weird. That's a weird number. And the towers are made of weathering steel. Why? I was wondering myself why the when the towers look like that, they look kind of, uh, kind of like, uh, 
the color you would use in like I don't know, like something scary, like a Halloween thing. But the but the weathering seal tower the weathering seal towers are made to reduce uh rust. And they look black, they're actually uh I don't know, looking like a brownish almost a Brownish, burgundy, something, I don't know. So the John James Audubon Bridge. Sorry, my mom texted me. Audubon Bridge was built in 2011. It's the second longest main span in the western hemisphere which is 1583 feet so the vertical clearance and if you live ar around the Mississippi you know it floods so 65 to 76 feet high water level and then 100 to 160 feet low water level it looks like low water level as you can see the Supports. I had no idea this bridge exists, but it is in the border of Mississippi, Arkansas. That is considered the South, so it's the Greenville Bridge, or I think locals call it the Liberty Bridge. I think locals call it the Greenville Bridge, and its name is the Liberty Bridge. It was built in. 2010, 13,560 feet, feet long. The vertical clearance is 122 feet. And it's 1,378 feet at the main span. And replaced the narrow two lane truss bridge that was actually put at one of the tightest bends on the river. Which was, which is very dangerous for, for ships. So the new bridge was built, like, I'm not sure how long that is. Like hundreds of feet down the river. And you can see the bridge at no shoulders. So yeah, always look. Because you might find something new. 12.55. So, the Fred Hartman Bridge, built in 1995. Replaced the Baytown Tunnel, which was completed in 1953. It was removed in 1999. 436 feet length. And main spin is 1,250 feet. Uh, I got mixed answers for the height. I know the height is 178, but I also saw somewhere that was 180 feet, which is closer. But, mm, I don't know. Okay, uh, oh my. This is part one. See you for part two in a couple of days.